Welcome. My name is Colleen Taukate. I'm a sewing specialist here at Fonz and Porter. In this Quilting Quickly tutorial, I'm going to show you how to put together blocks for projects called Cat or Fish. <laughs> if you'd like to purchase this pattern, please visit our website. We have two adorable novelty pillows as projects in our magazine, and one is Cat and one is Fish, so Cat or Fish. Uh, they are made from different kinds of fabrics. The cats are designed from prints. Uh, five inch squares are big enough to put together your combination for the body and the tail. And then the fish on this one were made from batiks, some brights. Um, each of the fins is a different fabric or can be a different fabric because they're different templates. So you can create your version of cat or fish. Okay, so from those five inch squares, we can cut the pieces that we need and we are doing these by applique. And so the templates in the magazines are reversed so that you can trace them and use um, fusible um, backing for putting these onto the squares. So what you can do then is trace this onto, um, if you're gonna be making a lot of them. If you're just making a few, you could probably trace right from the magazine. But if you get into it and you wanna make more, tracing onto a template plastic like this makes it very easy then to take it to a fusible material and just simply lay your template on and it's easy to then trace around your shape and you get a really accurate outer edge. If you're just doing a few, it's probably not too hard. You could trace right from the magazine um, template itself. And you would trace to the outside edge. I've left a little, just made a little notch here so I know where the tail placement would be when I get to um, that part. And then the tail, then you would do the same thing, trace it onto the fusible web. And then you're going to take a scissors and you're going to bubble cut these pieces to shapes, which means to leave a space around the outside of them. You don't want to trim up to the line yet because you're going to be appliquing them and you'll make that final cut once you get them fused to a piece of fabric. So I'm going to cut my two pieces apart here like this, just a little bit of scrap. And let's say, for instance, here I use the orange as the body. So you take the um, adhered inside, the glue side of this, and put it to the back side of your fabric. And reading your instructions, you'll need to the time and the temperature that it requires to apply this to the back. Do that same thing then with a little piece that um, can be part of the tail or the fins if you're doing the fish, so you would apply that in the same way. And then this is the time where you take your scissors and you actually cut and make that outer line nice and neat around. Um, one tip is to use a longer blade scissor. Um, it will give you a nice long cut and a smoother cut than a short blade will. So once you get those cut out, your shapes then are like this, nice and neat and ready to go. Now we have, what we have you do is design right onto um, your background squares. So you'll create, in either one of these examples, nine different combinations. So you would remove the paper backing from this product. And you can see there's kind of a shine to this. That's where the glue layer is. So you'd position that on your background. And same thing with the little piece for the tail or the fins if it's a fish. And you can then lay it underneath and take that to the ironing board and heat and set that in place. Now each one of these little designs is um, blanket stitch around the outside. You could use a zigzag stitch. Um, if you want to know more about applique, raw edge applique, you can visit our Sew Easy tab. This is the area where we have videos that shows techniques and we'll show you some edge finishes that you could pick to finish the outside edge of your applique. Then you're gonna go ahead and make all nine of them. And you can arrange those basically a nine patch pattern. So it's three blocks by three blocks deep. And use a quarter inch seam allowance to join your background blocks together. As you see in the fish block, I even use light batiks, which kind of makes like a swirl of color in the background, which is really a neat effect, kind of a watercolor effect. Once you've got your nine blocks put together and as, as a top, um, you can see here, I'll pull one in. The designer then went and used one of those decorative stitches on your sewing machine that we have that we don't use very often. This is a, a feather stitch. It can be done by hand or by machine and kind of accent the lines where the pieces are, are joined together to give it kind of a grid effect. 
on the cats, tiny little micro buttons are used as the eyes, and I believe then there's a small button added to each of the fish to make an eye there too. They're finished with a lap back fillo, uh, pillow finishing, and you can also go to our So Easy tab for techniques on how to finish pillows. If you'd like to see more of our Quilting Quickly tutorials, please visit our website. Thanks for joining me today.